friends, Bree here, and today we're going to be making a mini slimline card featuring light up game booths um, from the Funfair kit from Sonoran Desert Crafts. And so I already went ahead and I created these three game booths, and I used the stencil included in the set to ink up the game booths. Uh, I used some clear tape on the back side to tape the middle parts, the game parts, to the, the booth outline. And I also used the ticket die cut to create a little fun border on the edge of our card. Um, so our lights are going to be shining through the big star in the middle of the booths. So I went ahead and I punched a hole where those stars lined up. And I used a little piece of vellum and I stuck it in between two die cuts of the carnival booth to kind of cover up those holes once those carnival booths are placed on the card front. And so I created a battery holder here and I created it backwards. Um, <laughs> I initially thought I was going to have the battery holder facing uh, the other direction, but once I drew out my, uh, my circuit, it worked better with the, um, the battery holder opening to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and place my negative circuit first. Um, I used colored pencils to kind of, uh, separate the three different circuits. So the negative is the blue circuit, the positive is the red circuit, and then since we're going to be using an effect sticker, uh, it requires a third circuit, um, which I'm dictated with like a yellow, with a yellow colored pencil. Um, so I sped up this part of the video because it's very repetitive and um, when you're doing 90 degree angles it can get kind of fidgety. Um, I like to, once I place the circuit, I like to use my scoring tool and work backwards and run the scoring tool over the circuit to kind of smooth out any bumps, make sure I get a really good connection to the card. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, run my positive circuit copper tape. Um, so the tricky part with effect stickers is, once again, having that third uh, circuit mapped out. Um, so the so if i wanted so in my case we're working with three lights here so if i wanted all the lights to blink at the same time i could have just had the effect stickers connected to the positive half of the sticker lights uh, since the effect sticker has to connect it to one half of the stickers of, of the stickers so either the positive half or the negative half so uh, like I said, if I wanted the lights to blink all at the same time, I would have connected the effect sticker to the positive half of of all three of my sticker lights. However, I want uh, my lights to blink interchangeably, so I'm going to have the effect sticker connect to the positive half of the two outer stickers, so, those, so the two outer stickers are going to blink simultaneously. And then the effect sticker is going to be connected to the negative half of the middle sticker. So it's going to blink independently in between whenever the um, two la outer lights are off, basically. And it'll be kind of a little bit easier to understand once the circuit is built and you see the lights going. It's kind of like having um, two different flashing signs near each other and and they kind of work independently but it looks like they're working simultaneously so i'm laying my last bit of circuitry here there's a bunch of little 90 degree turns so it takes me a little while uh, if you've laid out circuits before you know how <laughs> tricky the 90 degree turns can be oh and one other important thing i wanted to note is that i cut the copper tape in half just because the copper tape can be a little wide uh, when you're laying out really small circuits like this and when you want to have enough room for foam tape um, and and you want to use a lot of circuitry on a little small card base. So I'm using a, a conductive fabric patch here to connect that third light, the left hand light, to the rest of the circuit. Uh, and that is it for laying out all the copper tape. So now we can add our stickers. So I am first adding the blink effect sticker. And the nice thing about the effect sticker is they come with these awesome stencils. So it, it helps with drawing out your circuitry where you can, can um, 
basically stencil out the outline of the effect stickers and your LED sticker lights so you can easily create kind of paths that go in between the battery, the sticker lights, and the LED lights. So the effect stickers, um, as you can see with this close-up, they have a positive and a negative track as well as the effect track. So I'm going to go ahead and place my color lights, which I'm using three white lights. And I, um, it's funny because while I was kind of creating this video, I was thinking, man, if I was smarter, I probably would have flipped the lights, the middle lights, so that the tracks would have been a little bit simpler. And that's why I placed it upside down. But because of the, I used the stencil, it was easy for me to see, hey, that was wrong, and flip it around, and so that this way my circuit will work. Because <laughs> if I had placed it the other way, the circuit would not have worked and it would have been a problem. But as you can see, the lights flash, the middle one goes by itself, and the two outer lights go simultaneously. And I went ahead and I put foam tape down around the circuit. Um, I make sure to not cover up the lights or the effect sticker, but you're, you can put foam tape over top of copper tape. Just fun fact, make sure that um, make sure that you don't cover your st uh, your stickers, but the rest can be covered with foam tape. And so to f uh, finish the card front, I'm gonna go ahead and use some liquid adhesive to place the game loose over top, sp specifically the large star in the center over top those the openings that we created on the card front. And the nice thing about liquid adhesive is that you can adjust it. You have time to adjust it before it really seals itself down to the paper. So I'm going to be placing the second booth there. And it's nice because uh, the mini slimline card size, which I think my card here is 3 by 6 um, it was just big enough, just perfectly big enough to fit three game booths on the front. And then the last little pieces that I'm adding, I'm adding a little dart die cut, which is also included in the kit. Um, I'm putting that with the popping balloons booth. And then um, I'm also going to add a sentiment strip. And the sentiment reads, Ticket to Fun, which I thought was really cute. And the sentiment stamped in pigment black ink onto a little sentiment strip that I distressed um, with some blue ink. And I use some foam tape to tape that down. So now I'm just going to put the battery inside of the card and see how the lights flash. I am obsessed with how this turned out. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed the tutorial. Check back soon for some more light up creations.